Yes, yes, so you're back again, yeah? All right, this should be a good one. So there's a video on YouTube that's been doing the rounds. It's about three years old and it's pissed off a lot of people in the black community. In my experience and all the other white girls that I know, mm -hmm. we don't think that getting attention from black guys gives you a status of some sort. If you get attention from the white guys, no, you, have, uh, you do have the status more than if you get attention from black guys. As a man, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with that. Well, as a woman who gets attention yes. and who grew up in a white culture more than a black culture, yeah. I'm going to tell you that getting attention from black guys is not a badge of honor if you're white. Mm. Okay. And I'm white. So man all making reaction videos and screaming violation and that, and I hear what they're saying. Me is a bit of a disrespect. So I hear that, I hear that, I hear that. But hear this though. Who gives a fuck though, fam? Who gives a fuck though, fam? Why'd you give a fuck about the opinion of people you're never gonna meet, fam? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of their videos where I'm moving around the house. You know what? I'm getting deja vu. I'm sure I said that before, you know. And yes, guys, it's one of those videos where I'm moving around. I know you love it. London and Northampton. Video links in the description box below. Every girl has their preference. Some girls like white man, some girls like black man, some girls like tall man, others don't give a fuck. Some girl are like, he's got to be Jamaican, he's got to be Jamaican, he's got to be Jamaican. If he's not Jamaican, I'm not interested. You know, there are white girls that don't find white men attractive, you know. You know, there's black things out here. They don't deal with black men. They do not like black men. But them girl they're the ones that grew up in Enfield, Barnet, Loughton, all their bridges are white, Greek and or Turkish. One them girl there. Certain girl, if you've been to jail, they're not interested fam. Glad I ain't been to jail. They'll say no, my family won't accept you and they'll write you off right then and there. Even if you've turned your life around, it don't matter, you've been to jail, you are ex-convict. So yeah, as you know, obviously like I went to jail innit? And that's how I was in prison for two months, eight weeks. So I'm in the process of writing my book. And one of my chapters is called Fresh Home. And that's basically the day I was released from prison. Yeah, when I came out of jail, oh my God, I was even more gassed. I thought I was even harder when I came out of jail than when I went in. Those videos are a fucking lie. But there's been certain girls that I've told I've been to jail and I've seen stars in their eyes. Certain girls. If you don't own your own business, if you work a nine to five, certain girl won't look your way. There's been examples on the internet. Do your research, fam. But a certain man who don't understand girl, they hear shit like that and they take offense to it. Me, I don't give a fuck about nobody's preference. I care about my preference. So yeah, it's a violation when a girl comes on the net and makes statements like, to be seen with a black man is nothing to be proud of. Black men are thirsty. White men are above black men. Yeah, it's a violation, isn't it? But hear this though. There's certain demographics of people in the UK. Nobody rates them. Especially the man them. The gyal, they might get a little pass. But the man them, no girls outside of their race, their culture rate them. And I ain't gonna say, though I don't wanna make anyone feel a certain way, but people talk about their teeth. They say they have a distinctive smell. They got big foreheads and that. They just have to get on with it. With that being said, let me even out the playing field. Let me give you an insight into how ghetto black people think and what they say about white people. But trust me, I'm unqualified to talk on this. I'm not just from the black community. I'm from the ghetto community. I know these people. I know how they think. Disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. Not all black people, but a lot think like this. But just before I get into that, I use this word qualified for a reason. I've grown around certain people. I know how they think. But a certain man on YouTube, they're black, they're from the ends and they've been stabbed. So now they feel they're qualified to talk on certain things. They feel like they they feel like it's a badge of honor to be stabbed. They feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the guys now because I've been stabbed. And what they fail to realize is push y'all get stabbed all the time. I've seen it. I've seen it before. Been on ends with the man there. Couple civilians over there, mind their own business, not screwing no one, nothing. Certain man wants strikes. So certain man, ah, oh, there's a target, let me victimise them. Man, I pull out ratchet and go for man. 
For what? Man, I'm minding my own business. Man, I ain't screwing no one. Man, I'm not doing nothing to no one. Certain men see certain people as victims. And then <laughs> those victims, they get stabbed and then they come on YouTube and put their, oh, I've been stabbed. I'm qualified to talk on this and I'm qualified to talk on that. For what? Blood, you're just a black guy from the ends who was a dickhead that got stabbed. That don't make you qualified to talk about nothing. Anyway, back to the thing. You know, even to this day, and especially the 90s and the early noughties, if you are a black man, on ends, seen with a white girl, you will be looked down upon 100% telling you. If you're seen on ends, let me break down ends as well, because a lot of people think where they grew up is ends. Why? Because there's a car robbery in your area. Everyone thinks where they grew up is the hood. People are classing places like Bromley, Chadwell Heath, Bristol, Sheffield as ends. Come on. Where you grew up is not an end unless black people were the majority in that area. The Edmonds. And this is before gentrification of Tottenham, Brixton and Hackney. If you walk through those areas with a blonde haired, blue eyed girl, people will look at you like you're fucking mad. Man, they will look at you like... And the gallim are worse. They will tap their brethren and point you out. Best not to make eye contact because they'll give you some dumb look. I've even had it before in Enfield Town. Remember about six years ago. I ride my bike towards Enfield Town. I see one blonde girl. She looked alright. So I thought, boom. Slapped the bike on the pavement, jumped off, got a number. So about a week later, I must have hit the girl up. Yeah, let me come link you, innit? Anyway, I got your number, innit? I said to her, meet me on this road, innit? Now, I know this road is a back road and it's dark. Nobody walks down this road. Hmm. So anyway, link the thing now. We're just talking. And it happened to be around the corner from her house. So she said to me, ah, oh, um, I just live one minute around the corner. Do you mind walking me to my house? I said, yeah, yeah, no problem, innit? So we start walking now. Remember, the road's dark. She start walking now. Next thing I know, she's grabbed my arm. So I'm like, shit. Because I can see two black girls on the opposite side of the road walking in my direction. So I'm trying to... By then it was already too late. She was like a boa constrictor. She wouldn't let me go. So as we're crossing paths, I just see eyes from across the road, man. After I made eye contact with them, I just put my chin up and carried on walking. My chin was up, but my head was down. The walk of shame. Trust me, I know an older couple from Tottenham. And the woman said to me she wouldn't even want to walk down Tottenham High Road holding her husband's hand because certain things in certain areas are not accepted. And walking down the road with a white girl was one of them. You know, back in the day, and certain men still have this mentality now. If you approach a white girl and you don't get her number, you're a dickhead. Because the perception is that white girl are easy. So if you can't get a girl's number that's easy, you must have no game. You're a dickhead. And it's just not true. You know, if you ever wanted to piss off a black girl, become a successful black man and get yourself a white girl and flaunt her. Walk down the street with her, yeah, link arms, be all touchy-feely with her. Make sure you look like you have money. That will piss Black girls off. Hundred. So like black girls, they'll make statements like, why when a black man gets money, he goes and finds himself a white girl? And they also make other statements as well. But these are more like coping mechanisms. The reason why he's with that white girl is because we didn't want him. I've even heard black girls talk the madness when it comes to black men dating Indian girls. You know what they say? So we didn't want him. And the white girls didn't want him, so he settled for an Asian girl. But you know what? There's some truth in that, though. Black man, them. Listen up. Now, I ain't going to talk too much on this thing because I can make an entire video on this subject alone. But if you're a black man and you don't come across thuggish or like you've got a street element to you, 
If you ain't rough around the edges, you're going to struggle with black women. Black women are attracted to a certain particular type of man. If you are an educated man and you talk proper and you're not rough around the edges and you don't carry like that masculine energy and that, black women unfortunately ain't going to be attracted to you. I'll give you examples. Look at Trevor McDonald. Look at Ainsley Harriet. Look at David Lammy. All of them man there, successful, educated black men, but they're all with white women. Because they don't carry that. Yeah, them man ain't like that. Them man ain't street. Them man ain't road. So black women ain't going to be attracted to that. On the other hand, 50 Cent, Nipsey Hussle, Tupac before he passed away, Casanova. Let me even throw 6 9 in there. He ain't even black. But he's got that street element to him. 6 9 a non-black man. I think he's fucking Mexican and Puerto Rican. He will get more black girls than Ainsley Harriet, David Lammy and Trevor McDonald put together. Because black women are attracted to street man them, innit? Bottom line. Like, even me, when I was on road, whew, I was a fucking tough black Especially when I came out of jail as well. Oh, I was at my supreme streetness. Man just carried that energy. I remember before, I came out of jail and a few weeks later I went to my friend's court case. See one thing, she was watching man, obviously boom. Man carried that energy the way I was walking, the way I was talking. I approached her, got her number. She became my ex-girlfriend. You know, a couple of years ago, I was talking proper. And even till up until recently as well. You know, I thought to myself, if I was talking proper like that, back when I drew the girl that became my ex-girlfriend, there will be no drawing, there will be no getting no numbers. I'll give you an example. Watch this video of me back when I first started my YouTube team. And he said to me, if you sell all of these for 10 pence each, you can make 50 pence, right? And therefore you have a 30 pence profit. And from that day, it clicked. Oh my God, I can make money. And I was just obsessed with it. And that's all I used to do throughout my school life to the point where I was so dedicated to it. You honestly, asked anyone who went to my school in mine yet, they would know me as I was the seller. I was, we used to call it shotting back in the day when I was the top shotter in my school, right? I had a few friends who you thought they could compete with me. And when they see this video, they're going to laugh, but they knew I was the ultimate top shotter because they used to kind of take breaks. They would do it for a bit. No, I was on it all day, every day. Now watch this video. Yeah, you know what, man? This, this thing ain't for me, you know? Like, before, I used to hang around with certain man, and, like, there used to be a group of us or whatever, innit? Now, people who don't know us will think, yeah, we're a gang or whatever, innit? These man, they will, they will call you, so whatever, innit? You know, like, them party, man, you just link up. This is, like, when we were 16, 17 years old, and link up 15 man, go to that party over there, innit? Go to that shrubs over there, innit? Yeah. yeah, something might kick off, someone might get punched up or whatever, innit? But these man are not like that. You see, when the beef in my ends started to really kick off, and man are getting tab up and yeah, man are coming, then we're going back, man are coming, yeah, you're going back and forth and it's You see these man, I don't know these man no more. These man disappeared. These man thought to so, say, you know what? I don't really live in the ends like this. So I don't really have a, much of a reason to be around no more. That man ghost, that man disappear. Which one out of the two do you think is more attractive to women? Put your comments down in the box below. I even showed Nadia and she agreed. Like even her. Like, if I was talking real proper, like I did a couple of years ago, Nadia wouldn't be interested. The certain girl are attracted to certain things. Certain girl, they like street man. Other girls don't. Certain girl they like tall man. Other girls they don't give a fuck. Certain girl, you have to be a businessman. Other girl, they don't care. That's the way it goes, man. So a lot of black people get pissed off when comments on the internet circulate. Black men smell. To be seen with a black man is not a badge of honor. Black men sleep around. If you have a baby with one, he will leave you. You will be a single mum. 
cool. But these black people that get pissed off with those comments and those statements, they don't remember the talks that their black mum had with them. Not all black mums, but some. You, you don't remember the talk, no? What, you never had the talk, no? You serious? Well, you just have amnesia right now. I can see man right now. I don't know what Jay Wise is talking about. You know black mums. Not all, but some. They all come out with some statements. And when I say black mums, I don't mean a mixed race mum or some light skinned woman that looks mixed race. No, proper black woman, melanated skin. They will come out with some statements, you know. Don't bring home no white girl. I do not want no mixed race grand picnic. I don't want no white in my bloodline. You can have a white girl, but she needs to have culture. So if she's Greek or Turkish, that's all right, but not English. This is why I keep saying, mixed race people stop claiming you're black because a lot of black people don't see you the same as them. And for the white people, them that think this is racist, don't. Let's be honest right now. Let's have a dose of reality right now. If you're a white English person watching this right now, proper English, union jacked off. If you ever, Said to your parents, I've got this black person, I'm looking to take things to the next level, marriage, kids. You don't say the answer will be a straight no. But certain people watch this and have amnesia. Oh, that conversation has never come up. And you know what? If it's never come up, it's for that reason. Because you know say it will be a straight no. Don't get it twisted. They don't make you know white people racist or Indian people racist because they don't want black people marrying into their family, you know? Most people want to keep it within their race. But let's not play games. Let's not have amnesia right now. And think that, oh, it would be cool if a white English person was to bring home a black person and think everything would be all right. No. I remember one time I was at one workplace and there was a Christmas party, but I didn't turn up. I thought, you know what, fuck my work colleagues, man. I'd rather sleep. Plus, I know say these people are going to chat shit about me behind my back. And what happened? So the certain man at work, We'll smile up in man's face. And when I don't turn up to the Christmas party, they're like, oh, where was you, man? We missed you and all that bullshit. Yeah, 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 cool. But these are the same man. Now, after I leave my workplace, one Asian thing that I was messing with made a secret recording. And my man was talking shit behind my back. He said to the girl, why do you like Jay? Like, what is it about him? Like, he's black. Like, why don't you go for one of the white guys at the workplace and that? This is the shit that man I have to deal with. This is why I don't give a fuck about no work colleagues. This is why when my work colleagues used to ask me, oh yeah, come out to lunch and that. Nah, I'm good. There's all times. <laughs> I've gone into Nando's, seen a bag of my work colleagues sitting at a table. I go and sit somewhere else. And they ask me, oh, come sit over. Nah, I'm good, fam. I'm good. You know why? Because these are the same people that after I left my workplace, my videos then got leaked and they're taking the piss out of me. But yeah, to close the thing off, I mean, a video like that where a white gal is talking this and talking that, yeah, I get it. It might annoy some people, innit? Yeah, I hear that, I hear that, I hear that. But for it to trigger and really piss off and anger a man, that's the next thing, you know. Someone you don't know has made some mad statement, yeah, whatever, innit? But part of the problem is a lot of men out here don't understand women. They don't understand that some women just have their preference. Now, maybe they went a bit too far with it. Fair enough. But they don't understand that certain women have their own preference. There's certain white girl out here. They want to touch a black man with a barge pole. Cool. But there's plenty of other white chicks out here. They worship the ground that black men walk on. They make mad statements, you know. Mixed race babies only. I don't want a white baby. Although they're white themselves, they don't want a white baby. Mixed race babies only. So when I hear and see the cool foolishness like that on the net, I just let it go over my head. I find it funny. But part of the problem is these men don't understand gal. They struggle with girls in the dating world. So when they see things like that, they're like, oh, that reinforces my mindset that I'm a piece of shit and I can't attract a woman. Because they're not doing their thing. They're not doing their thing as a man. They're not bettering themselves. I bet when you find out, when you ask them their fucking their job and that, they might not work in some bullshit job. Yeah, they might have qualification, this, but they have no ambition. They work a shit job. They have no receipts. They can 
come on YouTube and moan about this and moan about that, but they can't show you nothing. They can't teach you how to improve your life. And ask yourself this. These are the same people that moan about this, moan about that. Do they also talk about black oppression? Do they also talk about how black people have been put down and that? Or do they get off their ass and think, you know what? Even if black people are oppressed, allegedly, I'm going to still make something of myself. Stay wise. Remember one time I was on ends. I was with my thing. We went to the black hair shop. Now, my thing at the time, she was Indian, but she was urbaned off, swagged off. True religions, Pradas, this is all nine years ago. So you could have mistaken her for being black or at least mixed race, because she did have that look. Gone to the black hair shop now, and there's just pure, tough head girl around, isn't it? Now, my girl, she had that nice, long, curly hair, walking around the shop. And I'm just seeing... The black things in the shop just giving her some mad looks. And I'm thinking like, rah. At first, I thought it was because she was with a black man. But you could mistake her for being black or mixed race. So it weren't even that. They're probably jealous of her hair. They were giving her some mad looks. And I'm thinking to myself, like, if I weren't here, I think they would have tried a thing on her. Like, maybe not blatantly, but you know, like, try to barge the girl or something like that. So I'm just standing there like, you know, like I'm waiting for them to do something mad. Any violation, I will spin a gal, you know. I was even saying it in my London and Northampton video. There's nice mixed race girls around here, you know, like nice mixed race things. But they end up with some Niki you called Tom or Alan. You see Chanel from around here? If she was Chanel from N17 rather than NN1, she wouldn't even know these men. She wouldn't even look their way. I even know an older woman, a black woman, that used to go to Tottenham College in the mid to late 80s. And around the corner from Tottenham College is a road called West Green Road. Now, the whole of Tottenham was a black area anyway. But West Green Road, that was like one of the main hotspots back in the day. And this person's cool with people, isn't it? Yeah. Cool girl, isn't it? And one of her classmates was a white guy. So she's there, whopping down West Green Road on her jacks. And one of her classmates has come up to her from behind and he's put his arm around her and he's walking with her. But she's too nice to say anything. But she said the stares that she got from the man then because she was a good looking woman back in the day the stares that she got from the man then she said she wanted the ground to open up and swallow her whole because i'm telling you back in the day black people could not be seen walking with white people through tottenham this is why i keep saying mixed race people stop claiming you're black because a lot of black people don't see you the same as them I'm telling you, when mixed race people claim that they're black, black people are rolling their eyes. They just go along with it because they don't want to be rude. But really and truly, they're thinking, nah, fam, you're not black. It's the equivalent of certain men that I grow with who have conversations and that, and they will say to me, yeah, we've come a long way. And I'll be thinking, I've come a long way. You've just coasted along. But obviously, you don't want to be rude to a man, so you just don't say nothing, innit? You can always tell the ones that would never accept a mixed race person as the same as them. You know them black people that are into their blackness, the pro-blackness, the pan-Africanism business. See them people there? A lot of them have got a chip on their shoulder. They don't like white people. Oh, you done this to us. You done that to us. Reparations. Them people there. How can they accept someone who has a white parent? Because in the back of their mind, they're thinking about slaves and all that. Not all a lot of them they would never accept a mixed race person as the same as them so that's why i say mixed race people you're not black you're not white you're both you're mixed race don't try and you know jump on this team or that team in it just stay in your lane because you've got white people that will never accept you as being white because you're half black and similarly you've got black people that will never accept you because you're half white 
At some point, every man struggles with women. Even me, Jay Wise with the Chinese eyes. Hey, that rhymes, you know. I'm gonna have to make it look like one of these CD. Six to 12 months, drought, no gal, you know. And don't get it twisted, because there's certain men, when they go for their droughts, they'll be messing with some dead thing that they don't want no one to know about. No, 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 fam. You're still on a drought. Yeah? There's no way that you can claim that you're not on a drought when you're going to link a thing that you only buck her at her house. You don't take her out on a date because you don't want her to be seen by anyone. Fam, you're still on a drought.